Hello and welcome to a turn of Hinnom. This is a very important turn. This is the turn before our war with the world starts. It's not war of the world, it's war with the world. Found another unit. Okay. Uh, we made a ton of stuff. I don't think we did any... Oh, shit. Alright, somebody knocked down on one of our globals. Uh, it's unfortunate. We cast a dome. We'll have to see which one it is. Hopefully, I guess hopefully it was Pyre. That was by far our smallest one as well. Uh, some good blood slaves. Population. Some gems. Defense is nice. We found another scout. And another scout. And patrolling troops. Let's see what came down. Nope, Pyre's still here. It was Wrath of God. Wow. Wrath of God was overcast by Well of Misery. So they put in at least 150-something. Well, that's not great. It's not great, but it also could be worse. Um, it certainly could be worse. Can't even can't even see most of the map when we're looking at, at uh, these tiles. Okay, so next turn is the combat. Oh, that was us who got scouted out. Uh, okay, so this is a lot of units, but it's not 300 units, and it's not scary at all, for that matter. Um, yeah, this is 195 units, but it's all chaff, so looks like the Areopata stack has, has shown up as well. So in terms of where they can move this stack, this is the only aggressive play that they could truly make. Uh, over here, this is certainly a very scary looking stack of shaman. Some of these are smaller. This is scary, but we still have a nap. Sea King. Army of the Dead. Okay. Okay. So if we want to try and take a fight, we can move here. I don't know that we have the mage support in position to do that. Could this stack make it? Oh, they can. Okay. Okay. So, what do we want to try and put up against this group? It's a lot of Oreopata. And they've got a golem. Which kings? We can throw a colossal communion at them. What can we cast with that colossal communion? Howl. Um, Curse of Stones. We could try and fatigue them out. Oh, they have a lot of undead. Uh, various resistances. We could put up an eclipse. Although we don't have dark vision, so I'm not going to do that. They might do that, though. Hmm. Uh, wave Warriors is quite useful. Potentially. Battle Fortune as well. Uh, we could try and just throw like some kind of a mega thug at them and see what happens. Like, uh, or like, I don't know about a mega thug, but we could throw like a Phoenix Pyre Melkart out there. Um, see if he triggers gems, deals some damage. Um, we've got Marble Warriors to cast on our Serum. Doom. Bone Grinding. Uh, mass protection is also good, potentially. I don't think they have access to a lot of fire, so mass protection could be quite nice. In uh, evocation, we're up to six. So we could put up Wrathful Skies. Um, not that we're particularly good against Wrathful Skies either. We're not a firestorm yet. Definitely want Weapons of Sharpness. 
here we have access to what? Foul vapors. Heat from hell. We could throw up heat from hell, relief, and rigor mortis, and curse of stones. And try and get them that way. They have a lot of undead. We have to see how many undead we have available. Because the undead I don't think will suffer from a lot of this. Yeah, undead are not affected. Uh, and this could affect undead, but they have lots of resistances. We could also try and mass flight. Earthquake them to death. That could certainly be very interesting. Um, we could serpent's blessing so that we can throw up our own uh, foul vapors. We can do a lot of these things at the same time as well. Mm, I don't think anything here is going to be immediately helpful to us. Uh, and then from blood, we've got what? Blood rain. Would be the main one, bloodletting. Um, okay. We could also, you know, wait and see what they move out with and then try and fight them after that happens. Which I don't think is unreasonable. Not unreasonable at all. Hmm. We can send out uh, vampires to attack. Um, certainly be very useful. Because we are going to need to make sure we're doing at least some amount of counter raiding. As well as regular attacking. Hmm. I mean, this is the only big stack we can see. That doesn't mean that it's the only stack. Uh, and it's very chaffy. But I'm sure, like, it's got the golem, it's got these witch kings. Check out the witch kings out here. I think they have access to lots of death. They could certainly try for rigor mortis and um, relief. Hmm. Yeah. The golem. So definitely they have a little bit of astral. Enough astral that we shouldn't mind hunt them. Because that golem will pick off our mind hunters. Huh. Major army over here from Fomoria. But they don't have an immediate move onto a fortress at least. Except, I mean, this could move onto this fortress. But we'll, we'll probably reinforce. How many demons? We have a lot. We got a lot of strong troops here. Uh, which is partially why I would rather ping them and see what they're up to than send in. Right, This is the bulk of our good troops. And if we lose all of our good troops because I missed something that they could do, I think that would obviously be, be quite bad for us. Um, if we wanted to send in a... Phoenix Pyre Melkart. What would that what would that look like? What could we put on him? So this has a lot lower protection, but gives MR and reinvigoration. It's gonna help us against getting soul slayed, but it wouldn't necessarily save us from being hit by lots of lots of critters and then just dying. I think we'll look for our MR maybe in this this lead shield. We'll probably do the dragon hat, dragon helmet, ring of reach. Let's let's just let's start kitting him out uh, and just sort of see what we come up with. Why not that? Armor of knights is pretty good. I don't know that we have anything that's really better. So this has a little bit less protection, but has three defense. Whereas this has a minus one defense. Now we're probably going to get surrounded pretty quickly. And this has 23 protection. Whereas this only has 19. Let's try this. Boots of Messenger, yes. 
regen, anti magic amulet, lead shield. Let's see what this does. So we're still missing a weapon, and we could consider whether or not that's the best setup. Um, <laughs> for weapons, if we wanted him to go and kill stuff, we could do like the shadow brand. But I don't. I think he's not going to really be fighting. So we give him the sword. An iron face, cast iron skin. Let's check what iron skin does. I think that's alteration. Stone skin, iron skin, natural protection 20. So that would be pretty good. We could potentially do like that hat. Uh, Cause right now his protection is here, current natural protection five. Um, yeah, let's see. Because we could consider doing giving him this helmet instead of the dragon helmet and putting on uh, armor with more magic resistance and reinvigoration. That could be could be a good move. Could definitely be a good move. How much reinvigoration can we give him? So right now he's got three from the boots uh if we wanted to do instead of that i think there's a we have some kind of reinvigoration oh yes um plus three reinvigoration from this <laughs> so and then we get like this um so obviously this guy's fully kitted out He's fully, fully armed. He's at six reinvigoration. The Bless will give him another two. Bless would give him another two. And he would do something like... Put those guys back. They've just been eating our population. I didn't notice. Yeah, I think he would do... We'd start with the... Phoenix Pyre, just in case he gets immediately sniped but doesn't die. And then Blessing. And then we definitely want to watch his fatigue is the key thing. But we probably just want one Fire Shield. And then Attack. And we go ahead and put him all the way in the back. And this will help keep him from routing. He's got lots of morale. We'll probably take these away from him. I don't... I mean, this will... I'm sure this would kill all the chaff. He probably has a problem actually, like, getting all his Oriapatas into combat in... what? Well, so the first time, right, they'll get there. But after the first time... They're probably going to struggle to really get, um, like, all get up around him. He'll be surrounded by hordes of undead. I don't know. It's certainly an interesting proposition. And then we just, like, send him here and try and see what we can pick off. Is there a better weapon that we have access to? That like gives more defense or something. This has defense zero. Has defense one. And it won't kill the undead. And the undead I think we're happy enough to have around him. That's two handed. We're not trying to kill undead or inanimate creatures. Okay. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. It's a big army, but he is, he's got a lot of MR, he's got 21 MR. It's going up to 23 once he casts Blessing, or 23 or 24, 24. He'll get another two reinvigoration. So that's a lot of reinvigoration. Six, he'll be at eight. 
It's a lot of reinvigoration. 24 protection is pretty good. And we don't have anything bigger from a protection standpoint. I think the only question is whether or not that's the best item in the offhand. And I think that it is going to be, but... Okay, now I can't find it. There it is. Yeah. Hmm. What if we did this? It won't show. Okay. It's a lot more protection. That's a lot more protection. His morale's still okay. 32 prot, what if I did now this? 27. That is even more reinvigoration. I don't know, let's try it. We're here to, this is the first, first multiplayer game. We're here to learn some stuff. It'll be fun. Okay, so now that we've spent uh, 20 minutes talking about one Melkart, we can look at what everybody else is going to do. I think now it's time to start pulling troops. Um, into putting troops, you know, sort of into position. But these guys... Oh, they only have 10 magical leadership. I don't know why I thought they had more magical leadership than that. That's not very much. These troops are kind of stranded right now. These guys have 25. You know, I never really considered how much magic leadership I had access to. Hmm. Okay. Well, we'll just have to be putting them on all kinds of different units because we don't have any big magical leader. I think this blood hunting operation is present, still safe enough. This one is uh, vampires, so we're probably going to have to move. I think this one is okay. Yeah, basically, I think this area is still okay for blood hunting for now, but like this isn't. I think we need to do some amount of retreating of our troops from this border into here. Our other problem, right, is that <coughs> we've been utilizing a lot of our troops as patrol chaff. I think these guys can move into Kailasa. And turn those in, turn those in. Hmm. <laughs> I think we'll leave this big stack at home. So I guess here, yeah, we really don't even have the option of putting all these. We're going to have to just sort of leave these mechanical men to defend our forts. We don't have enough magical leadership as it currently stands to necessarily use them all. What can we do to defend Machaka? They've got um, 80 bad guys coming here. We could throw up a communion. How many troops do we have? We don't have a lot of troops. Uh, we have more troops than I thought, but still not a lot. There's a Fomorian king. Here, right, we'd be communing up basically just astral nature earth. And then we'd have piles of lung dead that we could fight with. Let's move our prophet to a tile that has, um, you know, useful units in it. probably a good idea. I like that he can actually bless. Probably should have had him moving last turn. That's kind of a whoops. Uh, here. 
Not Blood Hunt. Cast. Demons. I think we'll hold on to the rest of these for fighting purposes. Got a great, a great big army here. Do we have enough undead leadership? 15. No. We need more undead leadership here. I think it's time to move. <laughs> Those back in. Research. We have logistics problems. All right, I think we put as much stuff as we can on this guy. It's magical leadership. Let's start moving him in up to the front. I assume we'll get attacked like here and here. In terms of counter raiding, we can do um, obviously our mail carts. We can uh, use uh, airdrops and do er, uh, elementals with them. We can do vampires. I think vampires could be very key. Let's go ahead and put this back. Because the vampires obviously will survive. Let's go ahead and make sure we take all of the guys off the vampires. Because otherwise they won't fly, right? And let's script up our vampires. What can we do? Soul Vortex is by far our best spell. I think... We've got Control the Dead. Which could be very interesting, very very interesting, in a fight against all these uh, all these undead. I just really want to know what's there before we commit huge forces. I think our vampires can be used to do. Uh, counter, sort of counter raiding, not there, maybe there. Okay, this one's, this one has to take Blood Slaves with him. And then for now, we'll put everybody on the same script of Soul Vortex. And Court of Skeletons. So we've got some counter raiding going on a little bit. Moving in behind the walls. This squad is safe enough, but I may want to, I think I need to move up this army to help defend even though this more army is also moving down keep blood hunting here well actually probably won't keep blood hunting here because we probably need the mail cart i need to move the mail cart back and this guy too keep sacrificing Hmm. What to do? What to do? <laughs> it's, uh, it's funny. Uh, Helheim messaged me that he was worried I'd taken out his globals, uh, was happy I hadn't, and that he wanted to put up Well of Misery, uh, and it would appear that he was too late. Uh, obviously, he can try and overcast Sorrow, but it's kind of funny. 
<laughs> yeah, it's tough to keep. It's tough to keep blood hunting, and we need to move these forces in. I think we need to move up. And probably stop blood hunting. Eh, we'll leave one of them here. How much magical leadership do you guys have? 25, 50, 40. These guys have more leadership. I think we have items of leadership, but I don't think any of it's magical. I think we have items of undead leadership. And we have two of those. And regular ass leadership. Which I swear we made. It was like a crown of some kind. This one. Okay, this has 25 magic command. It's useful. May need that to get some of these other forces into position. Give, um, like this guy, take that away. Give him the crown and a lion pelt. And he can take this. Take a whole big chunk of these anyway. And these. And might as well take some long dead with him too. And he can move. Put a big army here. And then get ready to move out. Hmm. And then yeah, we'll we'll have our, our main army sort of in the center here. And we'll look to sort of deploy them based on what happens with all of our, our communion slaves. We have them, you know, we have a decent amount of them sort of all scattered around too. <laughs> Anybody here? Did we make uh, okay we did. As many as un undead as we can carry. Move those into Hinnom. We could try and strike stuff over here. It's tough. It's very tough. Just because I assume we need to play a lot of defense. I don't want to get too committed into attacking, although I obviously do want to also be able to put, put pressure on on these people. Um, Research-wise, we're going to finish evocation. Do we get anything good here? Enslave mind. Wither bones. could be very useful as well and we could afford it uh, same with conjuration though though it doesn't really give us anything um, right away <laughs> so we're getting 250 yeah and then after this it's probably up to alt set or alt 8 Quickening, Warriors of Niflheim, Warriors of Muspelheim, Will of the Fates. That's better than Blood 8. It's a, sort of an eco thing. Enchantment 8 has the Fens. And Mass Regen. Evo 8. Pillar of Fire, Astral Tempest. Vortex of Unlife. I think we'll do this. Move our troops to the front. <laughs> we're sort of. I. I don't. I feel like we're being a little too passive, but I don't know what else. 
Not sure what else to do. Don't think I scripted the rest of my vampires to all stand in the back. Gonna have to raid. Mm, let's raid down this way instead. Can we raid over here? No, we can't quite. I just I this guy um Fomoria right. So I guess I really should have started with this. Fomoria said that he is. We are not going back to our nap after, despite what happened last turn. But that also doesn't mean necessarily that. Um, he's interested in like full-on engaging me immediately either i mean some of these armies are on the border are kind of weak uh i mean at least they don't have tons of units they may be magically powerful but we don't see any of, like the stacks like we see here because Rillier really is attacking him so it might be that if we don't poke him we won't get poked back at least a little bit and then we'll concentrate our magic power and get ready to take a fight. I think is sort of the best that we could do. I think we're going to hold off on using a lot of our gems from at this point. Um, so that we can sort of use them as is most fitting. Move these guys down. Move this. And then we'll sort of just see, see how it goes. Hmm. sort of we've sort of made our items I think he's good here but I don't want to patrol I think we're just gonna defend and let them hop onto the fort I don't think that the PD is gonna do a lot for us Here we will go ahead and cast some more mechanical men. So yeah, I, this is probably too, I'm sure everybody you know, watching it's like this is way too passive, but I kind of just want to see, see what happens, see what they're, see what kind of gems they've got. And then we know they have uh, conjuration eight because they just put up well of misery. So that's using up potentially a lot of research on something that does not do anything in combat besides wild growth. And then living elementals, which we should be okay against. So I think this is where, I think this is where we're going to land. Um, and we're sort of going to see what, uh, what they come back with and then plan our big, our big strike back. So we're just doing a little bit of our own raiding, mostly looking to defend. And uh, we'll see see how it goes. Man, these guys are getting outdone even though they're preaching. We definitely have some Dominion problems despite our best efforts. Okay, so I think that's the turn. We'll uh, We'll see how it goes. Thanks everybody for joining me. And uh, could be a very spicy, very, very spicy next turn. <laughs> so thanks and have a nice day. We'll go ahead and submit.